Hello, my name is Mitch, and I'm here to tell you guys about a experience I had. I don't know if it was paranormal or just stupid words people use to describe supernatural phenomenon, but after that thing visited me, I believe in that paranormal trash now. A week after I moved with my brother Edwin, after my house was foreclosed, I finished unpacking, and Edwin liked the idea of me moving in. Since we hadn't seen each other for 10 years, so I was excited too. I soon fell asleep after I moved in. After that first week, I heard rustling noises coming from the outside. At, at 1 in the morning, every night. I thought it was a raccoon, so I ignored it and tried to fall asleep. The next morning, I told Edwin about it and he agreed. The next night, however, I thought I heard my window opening and then a loud thump as if something had entered my room. I, I darted up and looked around my room, but I saw nothing. The, the, the next morning, Edwin dropped his coffee cup when he saw me. He held up a nearby mirror and I saw myself. I had a large gash in my left cheek. After that, I was rushed to the hospital. My doctor told me I must have been sleepwalking. But then he showed me something that made my blood turn cold. Look to my shirt to reveal a sewn up incision where my where my kidneys were. I started looking at his eyes, my eyes widening. <laughs> uh, uh, you somehow lost your left kidney last night. We don't know how, though. Sorry, Mitch. My doctor told me. The night. That night was my breaking point. Around midnight, I woke up and truly saw a horrific sight. I, I was staring face to face with a creature of a black hoodie and a dark blue mask, no nose or mouth, staring down at me. <laughs> the thing that scared me. Most of all, was I had no eyes. Just empty black sockets. The creature also had some type of black substance dripping from its sockets. I grabbed a camera nearby on the mantle and I took a picture. After the picture was took, the creature lunged at me and tried to claw open my chest to get to my lungs. I stopped it by kicking it in the face as I ran out of the room and grabbed my wallet. I, I would need the money. I ran out um, to my brother's house into the night. I eventually ended up in the woods nearby Edwin's house and tripped on a rock. I fell unconscious and woke up at the hospital. The doctor entered my room, and it's the same one before. I have good news and bad news, Mitch, the doctor started. The good news is that you had minor injuries and your parents are going to pick you up. I said with relief. The bad news is... Your brother was killed by something. I'm terribly sorry. My parents took me back to Edwin's house to collect my remaining belongings, which I did. Upon entering my room, I was scared, but I remained calm. I grabbed my camera and I stopped dead in my tracks. In the hallway, leaning in my room, I saw Edwin's body and something small lying next to it. I picked up the small thing and entered the parents' car, not mentioning Edwin's corpse. I looked at the thing I picked up and I nearly vomited. I was holding my own stolen halfie and kidney. Some black substance in it. Jesus Christ.